Okay, I've actually had a few requests for the word gypsy, so let's have a look at this one here. Oops, I misdrew that. My bad. G is a curl in Descript. It's a little bit different than an English G. So let's see how we can connect these. The simplest possible way to do this would be G, Y, P, and then S, Y. Now, this is very awkward, actually, because these letters have better ways to connect them, except for the standard version. The standard version looks a little awkward, but you could maybe get some nice pictures out of this. Um, rearranging it, that t those tails can be moved in any direction you like, and by skewing it, I can see some pictures coming out of this. But let's end with that for now and start to look at some more advanced combinations. The first thing we have is the G. G is a curl. It doesn't matter which way you curl it. So at the beginning of the word, I like to go like so. G, Y. And the cool thing is this curl can look like a cartoonish hair on a comic book character or something if you do it right. Um, so we've got a G, Y, and we could put that tail back up this way if we like, as long as it's straight. Not bad. Uh, okay, now we've got P. Well, Y or P or Y or O or E, when they connect to a P, they can connect like so. Now, just to make very, very clear here before we move on, this is Q, this is U, and this is P. Many people can find these a little confusing at first. Well, Q and U, clearly one points up and one points down. So even if the word flow is going like this, the Q points this way while the U points that way. One points into the, the flow of the pen and one points out of the flow of the pen. And the P is a word line with a triangle attached to it. This will clearly, this will become obvious when you follow into words, for example. If you had an A, it would come like this, whereas a U would be like that. The U connects to words there. There's many differences between them, so I just wanted to make this clear. Look at the Descript manual for full details, but I'll show you the version we're going to use here, which is this. GYP. We now have an S, and we can just connect it out of there if we like. And then we have a Y. It's starting to get a lot smoother here. Now we can merge these into single kind of letters. Now the P is technically a closed space character. So you can, even though it's very rare, you can put stuff inside of it. You could put something like an S inside of it. Now the P, to put a P inside of a closed space, well, you have to actually draw the full version of the P because this is B, actually, the B hook. It's not a P, just to be clear. So when you want to put a P inside of a space, you have to draw the full P. So if you wanted to put PSY inside of the O, inside of the Y, you would have to do it like that. And what that would let you do is you could draw the word gypsy like so. Gypsy. Not bad. I'm kind of liking that. That can easily be turned into a square. There's a whole lot more options, so play with it yourself and see what you can find.